Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Anna. Excuse me? Hello, oh, teacher. teacher. Ah, hello. How are you? Fine. Excellent. How are you, Saida? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, nice. How are you, Anna? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Is everything okay around your job and house? Good evening, Relax. teacher. Hello, good evening, Pedro. Are you ready, Pedro? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. Always ready, like Anna. <laughs> yes. Okay, perfect. You are ready. Excellent. I'm that. We're ready. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, like like basketball. It's true. <laughs> All right. Hi, Josue. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Nice to, nice to have you here. Thank you so much, everybody, for making the time, okay, to be here in this class. Um, just uh, in the meanwhile, okay, while we wait for our classmates, uh, Saida gave us the answer for the problem that we have in the platform, okay? So the answer was, I forgot it. Yeah. How well can you, Wes, right? Okay. Yeah. How well can you type? Uh huh. How well can you type? Okay, that was the answer. Okay, that's a different a different version. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> but we had how how well do you, right? It was only a can, so that's why. It was different for us, okay? But that's also possible, okay? We didn't have that in the videos, okay? But that is also possible, okay? That's not a problem. All right. So what was the topic of yesterday, people? Who remembers? Yesterday talking about the simple past. The simple uh, past. Affirmative uh -huh. question and negative. Okay, yeah, we were doing negative, we were doing questions, and also we were doing um, some simple past verbs, okay? We saw only a couple of them, okay? We will continue practicing because uh, in this case, if you practice more, it is better for you to understand, okay? okay. So, yeah, we will continue practicing this topic okay um, all right i guess we are going to begin just to do a preview or a review of what we did yesterday okay while the other people are coming um by the way have you been working on the platform yes yes yes, yes. okay yes in what in what in which section are you I finished the se the section one. You finished the section one, okay, perfect. Uh -huh. yes. Anna, what about you, Anna? Um, uh, I working in a I work in a section two. Maybe okay. I found I only one exercise for resolve that unit section two. Ah, okay. So you're missing one exercise, okay? Yes, I'm missing okay. one exercise. Okay, nice. Good also, for you. I try to write that unit three. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. What about you, Josue? In which section are you? Yeah, I uh, started to section two with the so the simple path. The simple path. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's good. We are right in the time. Okay, perfect. Uh, Pedro, in what section are you? Section two, and uh, we have a great time, the 2.5 lesson objective. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, but perfect. in the next, I, I cannot in this moment because for the, I listen to you. I will uh -huh. listen to you. 
uh-huh. class. But the next is and the listen the audio in the and I imagine the to put the correct answer for ah. the different ah, different okay. people. Okay. Laura John. Both. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, that is also pra- that is also uh, very easy. Okay. Um, however. Uh, today we are going to practice a little bit more speaking, okay? Because in the simple past, it is good to know how to write, but also it is important to know how to speak correctly, okay? So we are going to do the two things, okay? I know that you can do the writing part in the platform, okay? Because you need to select a couple of sections, okay? Or a point or write simple things, okay? But also it is important to know how to speak or how to pronounce uh, the words correctly, okay? So that's what we are going to do today um, so that we can speak in the simple past without problems, okay? All right, so let's see. Let me share my document over here. We are going to be five people today, I think, (laughs) okay? Maybe later more people are going to join us. Okay. So we are going to start. So uh, yesterday we were talking about the simple past. Uh, you were practicing one conversation. Okay. In this conversation, you can see affirmative sentences, you can see negative sentences, and also you can see questions. Okay. There is one part about questions that I forgot to. to to tell you yesterday, so we're going to do it today, right? Um, We were contrasting, okay, or comparing the negative form in the present and the negative form in the past, okay? What is the the word that I use for negatives in the present, people? Don't. Uh Uh-huh, don't. Doesn't. And doesn't, okay, perfect. Uh huh, and that's but that is only for questions, okay? Yeah. In the negative, we have don't and we have doesn't, okay? Because we need to analyze, okay? I don't, she doesn't, it doesn't, okay? But in the past, it's very easy because we have only didn't, okay? Didn't. Didn't. Uh huh. And we don't change the verbs, okay? In the present, we don't change the verbs, and in the past. We don't change the verbs uh, for the negative form, okay? In the negative form, because the uh, something that is telling us that this is in the past is didn't, okay? And also the time expression, okay? We have yesterday. Uh, we were discussing that right now it's evening. So, for example, 5 p.m. is 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 the past, okay? The morning was also the past. So we were discussing uh, those ideas. Um, also, we have uh, we have questions, okay? Questions. Over here, we have three examples of questions. Remember that in the present, we need to think, okay, do I need to use do or does, okay? Depending on the, depending on the person, okay? And, uh, yeah, and in the past, I have to use only did, okay? Because that's, that's very easy, okay? So I forgot, uh, I forgot to explain how to answer uh, questions with did, okay? So we're going to do that very quickly. Well, actually, we're going to do the two things, okay? To compare how to answer um, yes, no questions, okay? Uh, in the present and in the past. For example, if I ask Josue, uh, do you have a girlfriend, Josue? That question is in the present. So Josue can tell me yes. What? Yes, I do. Uh Uh-huh, excellent, okay. Yes, I do, because I am using do, okay. I am going to answer with do, okay, that's very easy. Now, what is the negative of do? Uh, No, I don't. No, I do. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. No, I okay? don't. Uh-huh. Because the affirmative is oh. do. Okay? That is the affirmative. And the negative part of do is don't. Okay? Now, what about uh, in the past? 
I can say yes. So for example, did you take the bus yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Excellent. Okay. Because in the present, I am using do. So I am going to answer with do. In the past, I am using did. So I am going to answer with did. Okay. What is the negative of did, people? No, no I didn't. didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Excellent. Okay. So that is very easy. That's how you, uh, you can answer uh, questions with or in the simple past. Okay. Now let me look, let me move um, these questions to to this part. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, Saida, do you have a sister, Saida? Yes. Okay, perfect, yes I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, did, uh, did your sister go to the beach last year? Yes, she did. Excellent, okay. I am talking about she, so yes, she did, okay. Uh, what is this, the negative of did? What is the one that we said? No, she didn't. Okay, no, she didn't, excellent, okay? If you see in this time, uh, we don't change the verbs, we only use the, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Pedro, we have a question for you over here. Did we practice, oops, sorry, did we practice questions yesterday? Okay, in the four affirmative, yes, we did. Excellent. And the negative? And the negative form, no, we didn't. Excellent, okay. No, we didn't, okay. Perfect. So, please remember, in the negative form and in the question form, I am not going to change the verb, okay. I have the verb over here, I have the verb over here, and I have this other verb that is practice, okay. I don't change the verbs to the past, because I am using did, okay? So I don't need to change the verbs. Now, if I am talking about affirmative sentences, yes, I need to change the verb, okay? So we're going to see some examples that we were discussing yesterday, okay? For example, uh, as my routine, I can say, uh, okay, teacher, I work in the morning, okay? That is my routine. But I can say also in the past, I worked in the afternoon yesterday, okay? I worked in the afternoon yesterday. We said that we need the time expression, okay? Yesterday, last week, last month, okay? And also we add ed to the verbs, okay? Because that ed is the past, okay? That ed is the past. How can I say uh, I worked in the afternoon yesterday? Let's see, Anna, how can I say this negative? Negative. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't work in the afternoon yesterday. Excellent, okay. I didn't work in the afternoon yesterday. I don't change the verb because I am using didn't, okay? In this case, I change the verb because it is affirmative. But in the negative, I don't change the verb, okay? Let's see another example. She watched a movie last Sunday. Let's see, uh, Pedro, how can I say this uh, sentence in negative form? Uh, she didn't watch mm -hmm. movie every Saturday. Every, uh, uh -huh. every last, Saturday. Last Sunday. Yeah, we are doing this one. The the, oh, okay. the, the she, past. She uh -huh. watched. She didn't watch a movie last Sunday. Excellent. And, okay. Ed. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay. We don't use ed, but we use didn't. Okay. She didn't watch a movie last Sunday. And finally, we have they used the computer in the morning. Let's see, Josué. How can I say this sentence in negative? 
They didn't use the computer in the morning. Okay, they didn't use the computer in the morning. Okay, simple. I don't change the verb, okay, because I am using negative, I am saying a negative sentence, okay? Perfect. So, also we were discussing that we have different time expressions, okay? For example, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, okay? Also, I can say months, or oh, sorry, days of the week, last Saturday, last Wednesday, last Monday, and also we are using the word ago, okay? What was the meaning of ago? I can't remember. Hace. Mm -hmm. Hace, okay. Mm -hmm. So we were saying that in Spanish it's like hace dos días, right? Yes. Yeah. But in English we put hace at the end, which is ago. So two yeah. days ago, okay? Two days ago. In, in English it's like the opposite, okay? So we have these same expressions and we started with regular verbs, okay? Who can remember what is the pronunciation that we practiced yesterday? Work. Mm -hmm, but remember the pronunciation because there are three pronunciations, okay? So what is the one that we practiced yesterday? Yes, the rule. Is a K and T in the finish is E D. E D, okay. So what is the pronunciation? For example, work work it. Uh, no. Work it. Remember that the rule that we saw yesterday is when we have the last letter as a letter D, okay? Mm -hmm. Or a letter T. Mm -hmm. uh, the pronunciation in the word is in work. Work. Yeah, but I mean, this is this is something different, okay? I'm talking about the pronunciation that we practiced yesterday. When the verb uh, at the end of letter E, the pronunciation is uh, at the end con letter T. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that is the other rule, but the one that we saw yesterday, <laughs> because we saw only one yesterday. Yes. Uh... Mm -hmm. We have it here. It's if, okay? If, uh huh. That's the pronunciation that we practiced yesterday, okay? That's the pronunciation that we practiced yesterday. Uh huh. For example, I told you when we have verbs that finish with the letter D or with the letter T, uh huh, we're going to pronounce with id at the end, okay? For example, want, wanted. Uh -huh. Need, needed, 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 needed. needed. Uh -huh. vote, voted, okay, start, started, started. Uh -huh. started. So if you see the last letter of the verb in this case, the last vote. letter is a letter D, okay? Mm -hmm. In this case, the last letter of the principal verb, okay? The last letter is a letter T, okay? So in the past, the ED is going to be ID, okay? ID. Uh -huh. So we have more, more examples like paint, painted, okay? Include, included. Uh -huh. So that's the, this is the one that we studied yesterday, okay? Today we're going to practice a new one. We're going to practice the sound T, okay? So it is like when you are like, okay, that you're sneezing, cuando está como estornudando, okay? Okay, the, the, last, the last letter, uh, we're going to think that is a letter T, okay? So how do we find this, okay? At the end, uh, it is, uh, we call it voiceless sound. That means that you don't have a vibration at the end of the, of, the, of the word, okay? For example, can you put your fingers here? And can you pronounce check? Check. 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 Uh -huh. So the last letter, okay? The last letter. You don't feel a vibration. When you say check, check. The, last, the last letter, 
doesn't vibrate, ok? Como que no vibra, no, no vibran las cuerdas vocales, ok? In that case, the past, it is going to be checked, ok? Checked. Checked. And you say checked. the sound, uh -huh. Checked. Checked, uh -huh. Checked. What about the next one? Help. Put your fingers here and, and, and feel it. Help. 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 Uh -huh. You don't feel a vibration, okay? No se siente vibración cuando dice la última letra. Help. Uh -huh. Help. Help. And in this case, the, the pronunciation, it is not helped. No, it is <coughs> helped. Okay? Helped. 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 Uh -huh. Helped. Helped. Uh -huh. Helped. Another example. Fix. If you feel, fix. 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 So, fix. no tenemos vibra vibración cuando decimos la X. Fix. Fix. Okay? Fix. Entonces, ahí, la, el, in the past, is going to be fixed. Okay? Fixed. fixed. Uh -huh. You need to pronounce the T. Ahí sí tiene que ser bastante énfasis para pronunciar la letra T. De lo contrario, no está diciendo la pronunciación correctamente. Okay? Fixed. Uh -huh. Fixed. Fixed. Uh -huh. Fixed. Uh -huh. The next one, dense. Okay? Dense. Ooh, dense. Okay? Dense. Dense. So, when you put your fingers, dense. 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 Uh -huh. Cuando dice ese... No, se vi, no, vi, no vibra acá, entonces eso nos está diciendo que el ED se va a pronunciar como T, que sería Densed. Uh -huh. Densed. Uh -huh. Densed. Obviamente uno no va a ir todo el, todo, todo el tiempo ahí con la mano en la, en, la gar, en la garganta, ¿verdad? Pero esto mediante se va practicando, mediante se va practicando, se le va a uno acordando. Ah, yo me acuerdo que esto... Esto se pronunciaba con T y no con D, ¿ok? O no se decía I, sino que con T, ¿ok? Entonces eso por medio de práctica se va acordando uno. Ya no tiene que andar uno con la mano aquí. <ríe> o sea, cuando está hablando en pasado con alguien, ¿verdad? Ya no tiene que andar uno con la mano aquí porque ya eso se va acordando uno, ¿ok? Así que vamos a practicar el pasado ahorita. Digamos, checked. 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 Helped. 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 Fixed. 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 Washed. Okay. Entonces, in the past, it's going to be washed. Uh -huh. Washed. Washed. Uh -huh. washed. Washed. Uh -huh. washed. Okay, perfect. Washed. The next one. Watch. 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 Okay. Watch. Cuando usted dice Watch. esa CH, cuando usted la pronuncia, la CH, no vibra. Entonces, Watch. eso nos está diciendo que el final, en pasado, tengo que decir la conté. Watched. Watch. 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 Another one. Kiss. 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 Uh -huh. Kiss. Igual el final lo vibra. Kiss. 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 Entonces eso me está diciendo que letter T. Ok, tengo que hacer la pronunciación de la T. Kissed. Kissed. Uh -huh. Kissed. 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 Uh, excellent. Kissed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, the last, the last one. Uh, work. Okay. Work. 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 Cuando pronunciamos work. la K, ajá, cuando, conocemos la, cuando pronunciamos la K no vibra. Entonces, work. eso me quiere work. decir que al final lo voy a pronunciar work. Como, como T. Work. 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 Uh -huh. work. work. Uh -huh. Muchas work. personas cuando están aprendiendo work. inglés, cuando dicen la palabra work en pasado, dicen work it. Ok. Work it, pero porque no, no están conscientes de esa regla, de que si vibra o no vibra, ¿ok? Entonces, como les, como les mencionaba, eso es más que todo cuestión de práctica, ¿ok? Así que, word. 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 Uh -huh. Ok, excelente. Escucho que es, hacen bastante énfasis en la T, ¿ok? Y eso es lo importante. Que si no hacemos ese énfasis, 
la persona va a pensar que estamos hablando en presente y en realidad estamos hablando del pasado. ¿okay? Así que vamos a ver. Um, ¿Alguien me puede decir una oración usando work, pero en pasado? Uh -huh. I worked yesterday uh, uh -huh. I worked yesterday. Uh -huh. I worked yesterday. Uh -huh. I worked very yesterday. Very, very hard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I worked yesterday in the platform of English class. Okay, excellent. I worked yesterday in the platform. Okay, in yes. the platform. Uh -huh. Excellent. What about? I, uh -huh. Yeah. I worked in my project three years ago. Ah, okay, perfect. What about wash? Someone can tell me one sentence in the past using wash. I washed my clothes yesterday. Okay, nice. I washed my clothes yesterday. Excellent. Uh -huh. What about what? I washed. I washed my car. And. The last Saturday. Okay. I washed my car the last Saturday. Perfect. Okay. What about watched? That is different. Okay. It is not wash, it's watched. Okay. <laughs> I watched TV two hours ago. Okay. Perfect. I watched TV two hours ago. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Another I person? watched the movie yesterday. Okay, excellent. Okay, I watched the movie yesterday. Now, what about um, chat in the past? Who can tell me one sentence using chat in the past? I chat. I chat. Chat, chat, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I chat it. Um, uh, today in the morning with my son. Okay, I chatted with my. Chatted. I chatted. I chatted in the morning with my son. Perfect. Uh huh. Yeah. The teacher. Uh huh. Um, the T, the letter T, uh, change for the letter R. R. Yeah, letter R. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I carry it. No, usually uh, British people British people uh, say the word T. They emphasize the word T or the letter T, sorry. But in English, American English, we pronounce sometimes the letter T like an R, okay? But it, that, that depends on, on accent, okay? So if okay. you tell me chatted, that's correct in British, oh. okay? That's correct in British. But in American English, it's chatted. Uh -huh. Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So, over here, you need to see the difference, okay? Acá tenemos que ver bien la diferencia. Uh, when we have verbs that finish with E or T, ahí ya no va a ser con, o sea, la pronunciación no va a ser con la letra T, sino que va a ser con el, con el sonido ID, okay? ID. Ya, si usted cuando dice el verbo, Siente que al final no vibra, pero no está usando la letra D ni la T. Eso quiere decir que tiene que pronunciarlo con la letra T al final. Okay. Sí. Watched. Watched. Okay. Watched. Uh -huh. Entonces, como les mencionaba, ahí es un poco quizás de, 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 de practicarlo para que no se nos olvide esa parte. Okay. Okay. Ahora vamos a okay. ver lo contrario a las voiceless sounds, porque los verbos estos cuando los mencionábamos, Uh, no vibration, ok, no vibraban ahora vamos a ver unos verbos que definitivamente sí vibran cuando nosotros lo decimos ok, por ejemplo uh, play pueden decir play play play, play. Ajá. play. Ajá. cuando dicen la letra Y play, siente como que vibra play dentro de vibra. play play, play. Ajá. play. Okay. Play. El otro. Call. 
Col. 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 Sienten la vibración. Yes. Play. Entonces, cuando se siente esa vibración, eso quiere decir que no lo va a decir con la letra T al final, sino que el ED, el ED, you're going to say it como letter D. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, play, play. Ajá, play. 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 Aquí, omitim, aquí omitimos la letra E. La letra E no la decimos. Solo sería... Played. 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 Algo así sería. Played. 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 La letra, la letra E no la decimos. O sea, al, al final casi. Played. Played. Uh -huh. Igual con cold. 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 Siente que vibra, entonces ahí eso le dice. Cold. Ah, entonces lo tengo que decir con letra D. Cold. Cold. Excellent. Ok. Cold. Lo, another. Love. ¿Sentamos? Love. 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 Entonces, el, love. in the past, in the past is loved. 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 Mm -hmm. No, no. The next one. Clean. 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 Enjoyed. 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 The next one. Try. 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 The past will be tried. 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 Live. 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 Lived. 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 Uh -huh. Listen. 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 I cleaned my room in the morning. Excellent. Okay. I cleaned my room in the morning. Perfect. Uh, play in the past. Play. Mm -hmm. I played I... video games last week. Okay. I played video games last week. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Uh, call in the past. Call. I called... My wife yesterday. Okay, I called my wife yesterday. Okay, excellent. And now leave past. In my case, I lived in Santa Ana for one month. Okay, but I didn't like it. <laughs> okay. <didn't> okay. Like <laughs> Yeah. Lived. Okay. Listen. Someone listen in the past. Mm -hmm. I listened yesterday in the class. Different examples. Ah, okay. Nice. Okay. I listened yesterday in the class. Many examples, you say. Many examples, okay. Okay, many examples, okay, perfect. Okay, so, recapitulando. We have three 
different pronunciations, okay? Give, give, okay? T, T, which is the letter T, T. and D. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Así que, no. ahí, cada vez que usted tiene no. una, cada vez que usted tiene un verbo, lo primero que tiene que hacer es decir, ok, ¿el verbo termina con la letra D o con la letra T? ¿Sí o no? Ok, eso es lo primero que se tiene que poner a pensar. Si no termina ni con letra D ni con letra T, ya puede descartar el sonido id, ok, porque id. no está usando eso. Solamente si el verbo termina con la letra D o con la letra T. Ahora, después usted se pone a pronunciar el verbo y determina, ok, ¿vibra al final o no vibra? Ok, si vibra al final... Lo va a decir con la letra D. Pero si no vibra al final, lo va a decir con la letra P. ¿Ok? Lo va a decir con la letra P. Entonces, vamos a hacer una práctica ahorita. ¿Ok? Y van a trabajar en grupos. Van a tratar de hacer como una media discusión para ver, eh, para ver eh, con, qué, con qué sonido se tienen que decir esto, estos verbos. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. El primero. Wash. Wash. ¿Qué creen? Termina con id, termina Wash. con te, termina con de. Traten de tocar ahí, traten de tocar y determinen. Wash. Wash it. Wash. 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 Ajá, ¿con qué letra terminará? Wash. Con t. Wash. 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 Washed. 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 Letter T? Yes, okay. That finishes with the letter T. Washed. Washed. Okay. Washed. Washed. Uh -huh. Washed. Okay. Walk. The next one. Walk. 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 Work. Work. Letter T, Work. letter D, or, or Eve. What do you think? Letter D. Work. Letter D. Work. Letter T. Work. Work. Letter T. Work. Work. Letter ID. ID is for. Uh, when we have the last letter as a letter D or as a letter T. Okay, okay, okay. The last letter is a letter K, so that's not possible. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, letter D? Work. Letter cuando, D. Cuando pronuncia la K, vibra o no vibra? Work. Cuando pronuncia la K. No. Ah, entonces cuando no vibra, ¿cuál vamos Letter D. T, letter T. Letter D. Letter D is when, we, when it vibra. Cuando, cuando, cuando letter sí, T. Es la letra sí. D. Ajá. Letter, letter T. Walked. Ajá. Ajá. Letter no. T. Walked. 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 Mm -hmm. The next one. Practice. 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 D, letter D. Practice. 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 Letter D. Letter D. Vibra o no vibra al final? Practice. No vibra. No, no vibra. Letter D. Letter T. Practice. Uh -huh. Letter T. Practice. Okay. Practice. Okay. Practice. So. Practice. Uh -huh. Practice. Okay. Practice. So, lo voy a poner en parejas ahorita. Si puede, le toman una foto a la lista de verbos que van a, que van a aparecer ahorita. O un screenshot, o los escribe en un cuaderno, no sé. Y va a tratar de determinar. Ok, termina con id, termina con la letra T, o termina con la letra T. Ok. Así que, eh, 15 segundos para que le tomen foto o screenshot. Y luego eh, vamos a dividirnos en grupo perdón, en parejas, para que ustedes determinen, ¿ok? Que se tratan de ayudar uno a otro, ¿ok? Para ver si termina con D o con T. Y de ahí voy a estar revisando uno por uno, ¿ok? 
para que todos estemos de acuerdo eh, con cuál termina. Okay, ¿Ya tienen la foto? Yes. yes. Ok, perfecto. Yes. So, vamos a trabajar en parejas. Ok, here we go. ¿Acepten la invitación, por favor? Yes. Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay. Another Hello. one. Hello. Hate. 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 Letter T. Uh, hate is uh, ID. Hey, did. I did the T. Uh, because finishing T. Mm -hmm. Letter T. Mm -hmm. Letter T, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Played. Well, you say we are played. Yeah. Played it. Yeah. Diva. Yes, letter D. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Yes, con letter G. Probably. Probably. No, Probably. no, lo vamos a usar con D. <laughs> <laughs> Travel. 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 Okay, y jump. 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 No vibra. Ah, no, con T. No. Con T sería. Jumped. 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 Jump. No, jump. but. Jump. Jumped. 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 Vibra o no vibra la letra P? Jump. 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 No, no vibra. No, no vibra. Ahí sí, si no vibra, ¿cuál letra vamos a usar? Letter T. Letter T, ajá. Uh -huh. Jumped. Yes. Jumped. 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 Arrive, 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 yes, vibra, arrive, 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 yes, vibra, arrive, 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 Better T? T or D? D? D, uh -huh. D. Arrived. Uh -huh. Arrived. Cuando, cuando no vibra, la letra T, de tomate. Uh -huh. Yes, cuando vibra, la letra T. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y cuando no vibra, es la letra D, de Dennis. Ok. Yes, letter <laughs> T. <laughs> no vibra. Arrived. No vibra. Arrived. Arrive, si viva, si viva, arrive. Arrive, sí, arrive. 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 Uh -huh. arrive. And jump, and jump is correct, you see. Jump. D. Jump. 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 Yes, letter T. A jump, letter T. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Jumped. 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 Uh -huh. Jumped. Work. Walk. Work. Walk. Work. 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 Yeah, it's good. Okay. Hello. Okay. Did you finish? Hello. Finish, finish. Ah, excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Arrive. What do you think about arrive? Arrive. Yes. D. Letter D. Letter D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, arrived. Arrived. Uh -huh. Arrived. Uh -huh. arrived. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's see another one that was a little bit different. Uh, travel. 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 Letter T. Letter T or letter D. Travel. 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 Ah, letter D, all right. Uh -huh, letter D. Okay, uh, we're going to go back to the class. Okay. 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 Ya no se pudo. Estamos en el grupo. No se sale el grupo. No. Ah, dice que sí. va a finalizar en 40. Pues siendo como una cuenta de reciba. Vamos a esperar. Ah, oh, ok. <risa> Okay. Okay. Let's check. Okay, vamos a revisar. Le voy a preguntar a uno por uno. Okay. Let's see. Watch. Let's see. Watch. Anna, what do you think? Watch. Watch. Watch is vibra when uh -huh. the watch at the end is T. Okay. Bravo. Bueno, sería lo contrario. No vibra, entonces sería letter T. Okay. Yes. Watch. Uh -huh. No vibra. Uh -huh. Watch. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Work. Uh, Josue, work. What do you think? Yes, I think work. I feel vibration is word. D. Letter D? Mm, what yes. do you think, people? Yes or no? Word. Word. No. Word. 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 No. word. Uh -huh. It's a letter T. Okay, word. Uh -huh. yes. Word. Word. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Pedro, hate. Hate uh, for me is letter P. Letter D? T. Tomato. Uh, T. 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 Ah, T is on tomato. Okay. Uh -huh. But when we have this verb in the past, which is like this, mm -hmm. what, is, what is the last letter? Uh, hate you. Uh huh. Hate uh, you. Okay. Hate you. Hate you. Okay. This is with hate it. You. Uh huh. Hate you. Okay. Hate you. Hate you. Uh, let's see. Um, Mr. Molina, hello. What is it for play? Played. Letter uh -huh. D. Letter D. Excellent. Okay. Played. Uh huh. Let's see, enjoy, Anna. What do you think, Anna? Letter D. 
Mm -hmm. Letter D, enjoy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's see, Josué, listen. 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 Letter T, listen. Listen. T or D? What do you think? Listen. 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 Uh, letter D. Listen. Letter D. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, because we feel the vibration. Uh -huh. yeah. the vibration. Let's see. Pedro, travel. 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 Be travel. Travel. Letter T. Tomato. Travel. No, acuérdese que si, que si no vibra es letra T. Si vibra es letra D. Uh -huh. ah, pues. Travel. Travel. Uh -huh. Travel. Travel. Letter D. Uh -huh. Letter D. Okay. Traveled. Uh -huh. Traveled. Uh -huh. Talk. Travel. Travel. Let's see. Mr. Molina. Talk. Talk. Letter D. Mm. Letter D. Talk. Talk. Letter D. Letter, letter D, D, please. Excuse me. Sorry. Ah, uh-huh. Letter T, okay. Letter T. Uh -huh. Ajá. If you see, si se fijan, eh, termina sí. igual que walk, okay. Sí. Entonces, yeah. como walk, ya lo tenemos, que es la letra T. Pues acá, otra vez termina con la letra K, entonces tiene que ser la letra T, okay. Okay. Ahí, poco a poco, uno va encontrando como, este, pistas okay. para que uno se vaya acordando. Es como en el caso de wash. Okay, que termina con sh. Yeah. Y watch, que yeah. termina con sh también. Solo que con diferentes letras. Uh -huh. Entonces al yeah. final se nos hace la vida más fácil. Uh -huh. okay. Consider. Consider. Uh -huh. Ana. Consider. Consider. Uh, is at the end of D? D. Uh -huh. D. Yes. Considered. Uh -huh. Considered. <coughs> Okay, let's see. Jump. Jump. Uh, Pedro, jump. Jump. Letter T. Uh -huh. Jump. Jump. Okay. Jump. Jump. Yeah. Try. Try. Letter D. Uh -huh. Letter D. ¿A qué otra palabra se parece? Try. Play. A play, excellent, ok. Ambos terminan con la letra Y, entonces eso nos da una idea de que, ah, lo tengo que decir con D, entonces, uh -huh. porque play, played, try, tried. Uh -huh. Fix. Uh -huh. Fix. Sí, Josué, fix. 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 With the T. Fix. Yes, ok. Fix. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, then arrive. 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 Malena, what do you think? Uh, letter D. Letter D. Excellent. Okay. Arrived. Uh -huh. Arrived. Arrived. Uh -huh. Arrived. The next one. Pass. 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 Letter T. Letter, letter T. T. Excellent, Anna. A letter T. Uh -huh. And the last one. Paint. Mm. Painted. Painted. Excellent. Okay. The last letter is a letter T. ID. Uh -huh. So I need to say ID. Okay. Perfect. So, okay. como les mencionaba, eso quizás se prende un poco más rápido con la práctica. Okay. Así que espero okay. que en la siguiente clase podamos practicar más haciendo oraciones in affirmative. Okay. Porque en negativo y en pregunta no nos tenemos que poner a pensar en todo esto. Okay. <risa> eso es más fácil. Okay. Por eso yeah. les puse eso más primero. Pero yo sé que el, el, la afirmativa es puesta, ¿ok? Pesan un poquito. Ahora, en la otra clase también vamos a ver eh, los verbos irregular, irregular verbs, ¿ok? Los verbos irregulares. Okay. Porque aquí hasta ahorita bien chivo, solo le ponemos Edeva. Pero, solo le ponemos But the irregular verbs, that structure is a change. Yeah, in the irregular verbs, everything changes, ¿ok? Yes. The verb changes completely, ¿ok? El verbo cambia completamente, ¿ok? O se le quitan algunas letras, se le ponen otras, ¿ok? 
Some of, some a special cast when the bird no no mm -hmm. change. Yeah, they don't change, okay? In this yeah. case it's very easy because it's only ED. But in <laughs> the other ones, yes, they change a little. And for but this, they... I have something uh, that is going to help you to practice past verbs irregulars. Sorry, past irregular verbs, okay? Así que le voy a compartir este link. Le voy a mostrar ahorita cómo se usa rápidamente, ¿ok? Para que durante el fin de semana, during the weekend, usted pueda practicar y más o menos se le queden los irregular verbs in a faster way, ¿ok? Ok. So, um, it's very simple. Bit.ly, ¿ok? Bit.ly, pleca, past, irregular, ¿ok? Todo junto, past, irregular. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer usted? Te lo voy a mostrar in Google, okay? okay? When you go to Google, primero que todo, no lo va a buscar en, en el buscador, así nomás, okay? Como cuando busca, no sé, um, no sé qué significa el amor, o cuando busca alguna imagen o algo por el estilo, no sé. Acá no, okay? Sino que tiene que ser acá arriba, en la, en la, en la barra de direcciones. Okay. Okay. Acá arriba tiene que poner el link ese que le voy a pasar. Entonces lo voy a escribir yo ahorita para que vean que es muy fácil acceder a esto. Bit. Punto li. Pleca. Se tarda un poquito. Ok. Bit. Punto li. Y luego ponga eh, past. Sin espacios ni nada. Y regular. Ok. Past irregular. Ok, past irregular. Cuando tenga escrito todo eso, únicamente le doy enter. Ok, y me va a empezar a cargar la página que yo voy a utilizar para practicar the verbs in the past. Ok. Ok. Ok, okay. vamos a esperar a que me cargue. So, aquí van a haber cinco opciones para poder practicar, ¿ok? Les voy a mostrar rápidamente de qué se trata, eh, por lo menos las dos secciones más importantes que quiero que practiquen. So, al lado eh, izquierdo de su pantalla va a haber cinco opciones. Y creo que en su teléfono, porque lo puede usar desde su teléfono, de una computadora, de una tablet, lo que sea, ¿ok? Desde su teléfono va a haber estas cinco opciones, solo que creo que van a estar en español. Si usted tiene su teléfono en inglés, lo va a ver en inglés. Si tiene su teléfono en español, lo va a ver en español. Entonces, primero sería flashcards, que sería como tarjetas normal. Cuando se flashcard, automáticamente voy a ver el verbo cambiado. Ah, presente, ok, mejor. Entonces, tengo un verbo en presente. Incluso tengo un imán para, para que vea el verbo del presente con el pasado. Entonces, ¿cómo lo puedo hacer? Por ejemplo, bueno, únicamente tengo que presionar, <coughs> perdón, en cualquiera de las esquinas de la tarjetita. Que okay, puede hacer acá arriba, acá abajo, también acá arriba. Entonces, le doy clic. Y la tarjetita se va a dar vuelta. Ok. Me va a mostrar cómo se escribe el pasado. Y si usted tiene activado el sonido de su teléfono, hasta se lo va a pronunciar. Para que usted se lo aprenda un poco más rápido. Ok. Entonces lo dicen presente. Ok. Y se lo vamos a pasar. Me está mostrando. Ok. Ahorita. Wrote. Ok. Wrote. Eso sería el pasado de write. Ok. Write. Uh -huh. Eso sería right y el pasado right. sería ok. Right. Uh -huh. right. Entonces, pues, eh, solamente le dan esta fichita. Okay. Esperamos que nos caiga. No sé por qué. It. Ok. It. Entonces, para que pueda ver cuál es el pasado. Eight. 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 Y la muchacha ahí me está también ayudando como, como se dice. Ok. Así que eso lo puede hacer cuando se quiera para que se prenda lo que vamos a hacer. Ahora quiero regresar a lo anterior, simplemente le dan back. Okay. Le dan back. Y me regresan a la menú, están cinco, eh, cinco opciones. Así que, aquí es la que no te lo agradezco. 
básicos, luego la generación mejor, luego la generación de estructura, luego un periodo de seis seguidas, y también tiene el examen. Y luego un paso. Así que el invito es que el y ya un poco y nos dedicamos a hablar un poco. Así es, ¿no? Tú tienes hasta pincha. I send you the link. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice weekend, and see you on the... You too, teacher. Nice. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow to on Monday, the yeah. next Monday. Yes. Bye bye. See you on Monday, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.